Hey guys, just a quick note before we start. Tim has some very exciting news to share, and for that reason, we didn't run together today. I didn't realise he was going to film and tell us about his run, so what you're going to see is you're going to see Tim's news first, then you'll watch my introduction and run, where I may say some things which may not make sense now that Tim's has made a video, and we'll catch up on how Tim's run went at the end of the video. I'm going to stop talking now, enjoy the video, and here's Tim's exciting announcement. Hey Scott, sorry we couldn't run together today, but yeah, our daughter came, so it's really exciting. Um, but yeah, I still went out for a run for 7Ks, uh, but yeah, sorry we couldn't do it together. Looking forward to running in the future. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes there. Hello and welcome back to 4 Running Shoes. My name is Scott and usually for these weekend videos I am joined by Tim, but last night I received some very exciting news that he and his wife have had their daughter. Uh, she was born last night, so Tim is not going to be joining me for this video, which is absolutely fair enough. So I'm going to, a little bit of a change of plan, the run that we did have planned uh, was going to be we'd leave one of our cars in one spot and We'll drive to the start and then we'll be able to drive back uh, just one way. It's not going to work out, so I'm going to go to a different route by myself. Let's go. I have come here to Wandon, which is about an hour and 10 minutes east of Melbourne. And I'm going to run from on the Warburton Trail today, which is an old rail trail. It's been converted into a uh, recreational path, which is used by cyclists, walkers, runners, horse riders. Um, I really like it. I've used it a fair bit over the years. And um, I'm going to run from Wandon to Kalara and back. Uh, it's going to be just under seven kilometres, I think. I'm going to take my first kilometre pretty easy. I've got the GoPro ready to go. I'll turn that on. And we'll get started. The Warburton Trail is a historic railway turned into a recreational trail. As it's an old railway and trains can't go up or down steep slopes, the trail is relatively flat with gentle inclines. So I've just run my first kilometre in 4 minutes and 30 seconds, which is faster than I was going for for a first kilometre, but I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to see if I can maintain that pace. I was kind of hoping to get under five minute pacing for today, so we'll see how we go. I've spent a lot of time in the Yarra Valley where the trail is, and I've enjoyed seeing it develop over time. I've seen bridges go in on the Warburton Trail and traffic lights go in to make it easier for the users of the trail. It really is a fantastic place to come if you want to have a walk or a run or a cycle or ride your horse. I've just turned it around, 3.5 kilometer mark. I didn't actually run to Kalara, I ran to Seville. I made a mistake earlier. Uh, sitting around 440 pacing for that downhill section. I've got a gentle incline, but I imagine it's going to be a bit tougher. So we'll get to it. The part of the trail I'm running on today used to be used to load fruit grown in the Yarra Valley to get it into Melbourne. The Wandon platform makes a good spot for picnics so the trail crosses creeks and runs amongst many gum trees and bushland. There are a handful of minor road crossings which are no problem to cross. Just a 5k's, two to go. Slowing down almost a five minute pacing now. The uphill is more challenging, but we'll keep pressing on. This part of the trail I'm running on today I'm actually pretty familiar with. While I was at uni, I was working as a farmhand for a while out in Seville. Often I'd come and run along this part of the trail on my way home from work in the afternoon. What's the one call to go? Working hard now. Got a cut. Cool. Seven kilometres done, 
uh, according to the GPS now anyway, which might adjust slightly later. My phone's not the most accurate, it seems. 4 minutes 43 pacing at this stage. I'm gonna warm down, then we'll have another chat. <laughs> So we're all done now. Seven kilometers in four minute 46 pacing, which I was really happy with actually. I, if I can keep doing them for my long runs for the moment, I'm very happy. This week has been good. So I've run two five kilometer runs as you saw in my Tuesday video. And uh, which brings my total for the week to just over 17 kilometers. So for this week coming, my goal is to just add another two kilometers. I'll probably add one kilometer to one of my midweek mid -week runs, and I'll add another kilometer to next week's weekend run to make it eight kilometers. I'll see how we go for running with Tim. Um, we're gonna see how he goes. Uh, we're very happy for him, of course. Um, congratulations, Tim and Shelby, and we wish you all the very best. And Tim, I will see you at some point in the near future. And now let's catch up on how Tim's run went. Just finished my 7k run. Um, well, I'm back and showered now. But yeah, it went pretty well. It was just sort of a recovery run for me. But probably took it a little bit fast. Um, Probably just wanted to get home to see my family again, um, but yeah, it went well. Um, yeah, hope your run went well, Scott. Um, yeah, catch you when I see you, I guess. Thank you once again for tuning in to four running shoes, just two running shoes today, uh, but it's been fantastic to have you here. Thank you very much for subscribing as well to all of you subscribers and for all those likes and comments. We really do appreciate you guys keeping us accountable. So please make sure that if you are new here that you do subscribe to four running shoes for all of our running updates. We hope that you find it interesting and inspiring for your own running journeys. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.